Hi, everybody. So um, I've been reading your comments on the discussion board about the different reading experiences that uh, we see on online. Um, and some of you are making some really, really interesting points. So I thought it would be helpful for me to kind of go through a couple of these and just sort of show you a few more things that you may want to take a look at. Okay. So I'm looking here at the, uh, the wiki source uh, version of Songs of Innocence and Experience. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, remember that Wikisource is not Wikipedia, right? Um, it is a Wikimedia project, as you can see down here at the bottom part of the screen. It's built on the same platform, MediaWiki, okay? Um, so uh, that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, the other thing is that, you know, some people have questions about the reliability of Wikipedia because anybody can edit it. Well, that's true, right? But anybody can edit any website. Who put it up there is the question you ought to be asking, right? <laughs> and is it clear, right? So um, some people made some interesting comments about this one. So let's just take a kind of a quick look, all right? Um, one of the things that you might note is that it's got this category 75% down here. I'd be interested in knowing what that is. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me to this page. It says category 75%. That means apparently that the texts are reasonably edited and properly formatted and supplied with information about the source. Okay, well, there's information here about text quality, so we could dig a little bit more deeply into that if we like. Um, here's some interesting information about the text source, right? They were issued separately or bound together with this title page. And here we see the title page over here. So remember, Blake's poems are originally produced not as just text like this that you can copy and paste, but images like this. So this is the actual original text or a, an approximation of the actual original text. It's still a digital version. It's this particular version, right? <laughs> um, as we can look up in the Blake archive, okay? So there are a couple interesting things that are going on here, right? Um, we have, we know that it's, uh, at least we believe, right, that it's about 75% accurate. It has some information about the source. Um, there are some other versions up here that it makes available. We've got plain text, right, with pagination, and we've also got the image of the text here, okay? Um, so that's just an interesting observation, okay? If we click into one of them, this is a useful, right, navigation structure, right? Um, if we take a look at um, the chimney sweeper, right? Here, again, we get the text, okay? Um, we get an image of the plate itself, so we can actually see the um, original illumination or an original illumination. Note that here, we don't get the particular version number, right? So that's something that's unclear. Um, we also don't get line numbers here. Right? We don't get line numbers. So that's going to make it definitely challenging for us to cite. Okay, We have to count each individual line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. And then if I wanted to count thousands, if I wanted to quote thousands of sleepers, of sweepers, I would have to count down. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is line eleven. Okay, That makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, Okay, one other thing that I just want to draw your attention to is this discussion page up here. If you click that, you can see um, some history of people talking about the poem. This doesn't have a lot here, but you can also take a look over here and see the history of this page. And this will actually show you who created it, okay? Um, it's not as obvious as, say, edited by Patti Smith, but um, these are all people right? Um, these are all usernames, right? That belong to particular people, okay? And you can actually look up information on them. You can find out how many other things they've edited, and that can help you get a sense of reliability, right? Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and uh, that is Wikisource.